Jai Bharat to all student. In a uh, last lecture, we have discussed about Gauss elimination method and Gauss Jordan method to solve the linear equation. Okay, with the help of Gauss elimination and Gauss Jordan. Okay. Uh, in now lecture, we will discuss about how to find inverse of matrix okay uh, in uh, last semester we already discussed about how to solve inverse of matrix of 2 by 2 matrix okay inverse of matrix of 2 by 2 matrix okay in now this uh, semester or let's say this uh, lecture we uh, we will discuss about how to solve 3 by 3 matrix of inverse of matrix of 3 by 3 matrix okay inverse of matrix a of 3 by 3 okay so first of all let's start with the some basic introduction of how to solve 2 by 2 matrix then we will uh, solve the 3 by 3 matrix inverse of 3 by 3 there are uh, two methods to solve a uh, 3 by 3 matrix one is the uh, we already talk about in last lecture like uh, Gauss elimination and Gauss Jordan. Okay, and second method is determinant method, a cofactor and minor. Okay, so in today's lecture we talk about the Gauss elimination to solve inverse of matrix, and then in next lecture we will discuss about determinant method to solve uh, to find out inverse of matrix okay so uh, we all know what is the identity matrix okay what is identity matrix if uh, i2 two, 2 by 2 matrix then it will say 1 0 0 1 all diagonal element are all is equal to 1 and other than diagonal element are 0 and i3 is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 okay so on continue i4 i4 this is the identity matrix okay so if we not uh, talk about like a uh, matrix only regular number then we also know that if uh, 8 with multiply with its inverse like 1 open 8 so what we will get 1 okay one value and its inverse if we multiply these two then we always get one like five into one upon five okay so this uh, same concept also applied in matrix but here in matrix if one matrix has a and it inverse is a inverse a inverse okay if we multiply with this so uh, this is the what is the multiplication of matrix so if we multiply matrix so what we will get one types of matrix we will get not number but here if we multiply with this uh, its inverse then we will get as a identity matrix what is like i2 or i3 based upon what is the a it is if uh, 2 by 2 then we will get i2 if it is a 3 by 3 matrix then we will get i3 okay so here you can see that if a into a inverse or a inverse into a we will get as a i identity matrix okay so this is the basic of uh, inverse of matrix okay so in course elimination we apply this same concept in course elimination method okay and all know that non-square matrix do not possess inverse only square matrix has a inverse okay so only square or you also know that the identity matrix is also square matrix okay so those who have square matrix only we can uh, these types of matter we can find out about inverse of matrix not like a 2 by 3 matrix or 3 by 2 matrix okay so this is the basic so uh, let's say uh, first of all we uh, get the reason of how to find out inverse of matrix in 2 by 2 
then we will discuss about three by two matrix. Okay, we already discuss about this in last semester. How to find two by two matrix? Okay. Uh, okay, here yeah. simple. If we want to find out about inverse of matrix, then it's one upon determinant and it's adjoint. What is adjoint? We will change the diagonal element, swap the diagonal element, and other than diagonal, we will change the its sign. If it's plus, then it is uh, become negative. If it's negative, then it will become positive. Okay. So uh, this uh, equation we can find out about the uh, inverse of matrix of two by two matrix. Okay. But in two by three, uh, some complicated are there in two by three matrix method. Okay. So this is the two by two uh, inverse of matrix in two by two matrix already. Okay. So now. Let's start with the three by three matrix inverse of three by three matrix. Okay, uh, we already discussed about in Gaussian elimination, like our linear equation. We will change this linear equation into like this: a x into b. Okay, we already know about. Uh, we will uh, first of all in question they will give our uh, linear equation. Then we will transfer this linear equation into this matrix form. Then we apply row operation. Okay, so first of all we we will transfer this matrix into these types of forms. Okay, so then like say we did some operation like R one, R two, and R three. Okay, and we will get the matrix in upper triangle form Gaussian elimination. Okay, so like uh, we say R one, R two, and R three did operation on matrix A. So that B will also be changed. Okay. Some uh, we apply both side row operation. B will also be changed. Okay. R1, R2, and R3. Now let's say uh, if we will multiply with both side with the A inverse. Okay. Uh, this uh, R1, R2, R2, A into A inverse. Is equal to B into A inverse. Okay. So what we will get A into A inverse is equal to we will get I is equal to B into A inverse. Okay. So now here you can see that we will transfer this A matrix into what form? Identity matrix. Okay. In like a post Jordan method. Okay. So, a matrix we apply some row operation. We will transfer this into matrix into identity form, like a 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 identity. So, if we apply same operation like R1, R2, R3, same operation in identity matrix, already same operation identity matrix, then this matrix will reduce in its inverse okay so for matrix we apply some row operation so same row operation we apply if in identity matrix then it will get our a inverse like this operation a into a inverse is equal to i so if we apply same operation and convert this a into i then if we want to transfer identity matrix into a inverse then we also apply same operation okay so here this concept will be used in gauss elimination method to find out about the inverse of matrix in 3 by 3 let's start with some basic example then you can get the better idea about how concept is used yes. okay so first of all you all know how to uh, done gauss elimination in last four lecture we uh, talk about the gauss elimination gauss coordination so you all familiar with the row operation how to transfer this row operation like uh, we interchange two row uh, multiplying a row by constant factor okay adding a multiple of row of one other than like r2 plus 3r1 okay also 
this is the row operation in worse elimination we already discuss about and did some math example lots of example work and also in sml okay so this is the row operation okay now here as i said if a sequence of row operation applied to a square matrix a reduced to identity matrix like we already said in a matrix we will transfer this in identity matrix if same operation same size same size identity matrix same operation same sequence like first we add a r1 into r2 then multiply with r2 then add r3 same sequence we applied in identity matrix then it will reduce in inverse of a okay now if it uh, some nodes are there if it's impossible to reduce a into identity matrix then a inverse does not exist like in uh, two by two matrix we already see that if a determinant of matrix is equal to zero then this one upon we will get one upon zero so this is not possible so if uh, any matrix determinant is equal to zero then inverse is not possible of these types of matrix okay so here also if we uh, impossible to reduce a into identity matrix then it's a inverse does not exist okay <coughs> okay so let's start first of all let's start with the example then you can get better at so suppose this is the a matrix and we want to find out inverse of this matrix okay so first of all let's start uh, with first place a and i adjacent to each other okay why because we as i said we want to transfer this matrix into identity matrix like same r1 r2 same operation and this same operation same sequence we want to also identify in identity matrix and then it will transfer it into a inverse so if we put up in line like uh, a will transfer in identity matrix same identity matrix will transfer into a inversion okay so uh, we will make adjunction matrix okay you already know adjoint matrix or uh, augmented matrix okay what is augmented matrix like uh, ax is equal to b then we will make a matrix and here b okay this is augmented matrix so we will also make a and i augmented matrix okay this is a and this is i so what will i do or oh, now uh, this is augmented matrix then what is the first step in a question elimination we will transfer this in upper triangle matrix okay we will transfer this in upper triangle with the help of row operation <coughs> So we will produce the changing column F and reduce this upper triangle matrix. Okay. So now let's start with the upper triangle matrix. Okay. So now wow. we already know how to change upper triangle matrix. Okay. So first of all we will make this as a zero first column okay then how do we make pick r2 minus r1 we add r2 minus first row so we will get zero one zero now in uh, gaussian elimination what we'll do here b matrix also we apply row operation so here also you have to apply these types of row operation in identity matrix also so r2 minus i1 we will, what will you get minus 1 sorry 0 minus 1 here 0 minus 1 and here 1 minus 0 so minus 1 minus 0 okay so first operation apply in both the matrix okay now uh, if we want to make this as a 0 then if we multiply this row by 2 and then subtract with this row r3 minus 2 r1 so we will get as a 0 so 
here 0 1 1 7 minus 6 7 minus 6 also we apply this operation in second identity matrix also so we will get minus 2 0 1 all other row will become same so okay <coughs> so here you can see that our in upper triangle matrix only is we want to transfer this 1 into 0 so how do we transfer if uh, we multi uh, sub -sec second row with the third row okay so r3 minus r2 so we will get 0 sorry 0 1 1 here same also we apply this row operation in this second matrix also minus 1 minus 1 1 so okay so what uh, now here we done upper triangle matrix transfer this upper triangle matrix okay as now uh, now second phase but as i said earlier we want to transfer this matrix in identity matrix okay this is the upper triangle so now we will transfer this matrix into identity matrix so so this value will want to transfer them into zero so how do we transfer this uh, two value in zero first of all if uh, we multiply third row with the three and add in first row so we will get r1 minus r3 so that we will get zero sorry this will become zero why because uh, let's say one minus zero three minus zero and three minus three okay r1 minus three r so this will one will become zero also this operation we will apply in second matrix also okay now only this value will uh, have remain so this we want to transfer them into zero okay so how do we transfer if uh, we r1 minus 3r2 okay why uh, r2, uh, we take r2 as a row because you can see that here is a value of 1 so if we multiply with this 3 and then uh, subtract with first row then we will get 0 okay so r1 minus 3r2 so you can see that we will uh, we will we have transfer a matrix into identity matrix if same operation apply in identity matrix then this will become a inverse so we have the answer of matrix inverse of matrix a okay you get the idea so how do we so first of all this is a matrix and we uh, with some pro operation we will transfer thing is identity if same operation same sequence applied in identity matrix then it will reduce in its inverse of matrix why because a into a inverse is equal to i and a inverse into a is equal to also i so this is the first as a, a matrix and this is identity matrix if uh, same operation apply in this second matrix also this uh, transfer will make identity matrix and this identity matrix will transfer into a inverse so this is the inverse of matrix also we want uh, if we want to verify if it's a true or not so then multiply with this one matrix and we will get as a identity matrix okay so that you can also multiply verify <coughs> okay so uh, this is not different from cos elimination and cos order but here there are no linear equation or uh, there are no transfer this into ax is equal to b form but same operation uh, like a linear equation solve cos elimination but we will here 
ऑब्जोमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स वी हैव आई ए आई ओके सो दिस इज नॉट डिफरेंट नॉट मच डिफरेंट देन कोस एलिमिनेशन एंड कोस चोटेज इट इज अ सेम और ऑपरेशन विल बी सेम बट वी विल ट्रांसफर दिस आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स इनटू एन सेम ऑपरेशन वी हैव टू अप्लाई इन आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स so we will get its inverse okay so let's start with our second example so you can get better idea here a is equal to this matrix and i is equal to this so with the help of gauss elimination obtain a inverse now you can see that here we have zero so if we want to transfer this matrix into identity matrix we want as a one so what we will do first we will swap the row like partial pivoting you can say that okay so here zero is a less than 2 so we will not apply row operation okay so what we will get we will transfer second row and first row okay you can uh, do that so let's start with the first here first and augmented i1 so we will transfer r1 and r2 so also we uh, will transfer this in okay uh, identity matrix we have to apply same operation same sequence in identity matrix then we will get as a thing so if uh, we apply uh, change is swap the row then also we want uh, we have to change the or swap the row in identity matrix okay so you can see that in here also we swap the second and first row okay second row and first row okay now uh, what uh, what is the first step we will transfer this in upper triangle so upper triangle matrix we want to change this to value into zero so okay so first of all okay Now uh, here you can see that this is the two. Okay, so let's say how do we transfer this minus one into zero? So if uh, we R three plus what we will do R one but one by two. So this will become two into one by two means one. And minus one one plus one is equal to zero. So we will op apply the operation row three plus one by two R one. Okay. So first uh, here this will become zero. <coughs> Then uh, R two two plus one by two three. So this will become seven by two by uh, three two plus three by two two into two four plus three upon two. So This will become seven by two, and also this will become one by two. One plus minus one by two, so this will become one by two. Also, this operation we apply this in identity matrix also, so this will become zero one by two one. This is a mathematical calculation, okay? Addition and subtraction, okay? So now we have zero zero seven by two, okay? <coughs> <coughs> now uh what is it uh, now we will transfer this uh, value into zero so how do we transfer a row 3 minus if we apply this with the second uh, row r2 Here you can see that one. If we multiply this uh, with the seven by two and subtract with this second and third row, so what we will get? We will get zero. In short, you have to transfer in upper triangle matrix. How do you? Uh, which method you use? Which operation you use? First of all, here you can see that uh, in this example, we will transfer this matrix into first of all this zero. Okay. Also, uh, if uh, you can transfer this two into also first of all you can transfer this two into one, okay? Because why? 
because we will uh, we want to transfer this into identity so here you can also first you can transfer this into one then apply this operation also you can apply this first operation and then transfer this two value into one okay so you can first operation second you already second first uh, second operation and first it's not a quantity but what is important we want to transfer this into upper triangle and then after that into identity matrix okay so this will operation will apply 7 by 2 and we will get upper triangle matrix okay so upper triangle matrix now <coughs> Okay, for uh, identity matrix, this three also will uh, we have to transfer this into zero. So first of all, how do we get as a zero? If uh, we multiply R one minus one by three R three, row three divided by three and addition in R one and addition in R two. Okay, so we will get these two value as a zero. Also, this operation we have to apply in second matrix. Okay, so this will we will get as a zero. Now we want to uh, transfer this in element into zero. So how do we uh, done zero? If we multiply with the, this uh, second row with three and addition with in first row. So then we will get as a zero. So R1 minus 3 R2. So we will get as a zero. Here you can see that we have only diagonal value. But this diagonal element we want to transfer this in identity matrix. So how do we identify uh, it? This will become easy. If we multiply all operation with the divided by 2 and this third row whole row divided by 3 so we will get as a identity matrix also this operation we have to apply this in second method and this will we get as a a plus ok if we common now uh, 1 by 6 then we will get 5 minus 1 this is the inverse of matrix ok so with the help of question elimination in 3 by 3 matrix we have calculate uh, or find inverse of matrix. We will transfer a matrix into identity matrix, and same operation if we apply identity matrix, then we will get as a it's inverse of matrix. Okay, so this is the inverse of matrix with the help of question elimination. Okay. Now your uh, assignment. You have to solve this matrix into or uh, find out about inverse of this matrix with the help of question solver or question elimination method. Okay. We have to upload wall method, wall calculation, not only answer, wall calculation and merging PDF then upload. Okay. I uh, if you upload only answer, then I will reject this assignment and put up send in application okay in today's lecture we will get action so you have to done all the method and get the answer so in now next lecture we solve inverse of matrix using determinant method second method okay now here your lecture is completed